after this amount of time, you know, uh, and and so it's really, really incredible. And to think that um, Queen Latifah was 19 years old. She came with her partner. She came to Dixon, my office on Cannon, and the that the fact that we all stuck to it. She had Randy constantly checking in. Everybody did their very best to keep it alive. To keep something alive this many years is really hard. And so nothing could be more rewarding than to be acknowledged in this way. And it's a wonderful night. When I originally read this material, I thought she was such an incredible woman because unlike the cliche of singers at that time, she, or even today, she wasn't a victim of anything. She made these decisions herself, her sexuality, her drinking, her, you know, everything. There wasn't some man that made her feel less than, that drove her to anything. And that was one of the reasons why Queen Latifah was so attractive for the part, because she was this young woman call, calling herself Queen Latifah. To carry that off at 19, 20 years old, you had to have that kind of self-assurance that obviously Bessie didn't have in the same way, but she was her own woman. And that's very interesting and you don't usually see it. Well, it, back in those days, she uh, had only, she had an album and she was on MTV. Last year, this was... So it wasn't at that point as if she was an asset. At that point, she was right for the role. She was a little young, but she was perfect for the role. So, because to pull a role like that off, even though she was a very young woman, you don't pass judgment on your character. You come from your character's point of view. She got that, so that's why it was.